a lot of people talk about uh, my ability to take a punch, and uh, there are some things physically that you're born with that enable you to do certain things better sometimes than other, some other people. There's a reason why certain people run faster. There's a reason why somebody perhaps is stronger than somebody else. There's also a reason why somebody can punch harder than someone else. There's also a reason why someone can take a punch better than someone else. And physically, when I look at myself and I try to analyze it, one of the reasons is I have a very short neck. When you have a short neck, that works to your advantage. And why? If, you have a, if I had a neck like a stack of dimes, I get hit with a punch, my brain would be more liable to reverberate, more, more liable to be rattled. Having a short neck gives me that distinct advantage. Also, uh, I think I still have a pretty thick neck, but when I was younger, I had a thicker neck. I used to work a lot at developing my neck muscles, my whole shoulder girdle. And what I realized was at a young age was that a boxer should be like a football player. They're both contact sports. And it only stands to reason that if a football player trains to mete out punishment and also to absorb punishment, that same philosophy should be in the boxing game. If I'm trained to mete out punishment, I should also be training to absorb punishment. So I work hard, trying to work on heavy bag, work on sparring, work on developing my hitting muscles. I should also work on the muscles that help absorb punishment. So I worked a lot on my shoulder girdle. I worked a lot on my neck muscles. I used to stand on my head for half an hour and move my head forward and backwards, side to side. And uh, sometimes I'd be on the phone for half an hour talking on the phone and doing my neck exercises. I used to also chew a lot of bubble gum double bubble or whatever. I used, to, I, used to have, when I, was, I used to have protruding jaw muscles when I was younger, not so much when I'm older. And I think the, all those things helped me uh, take a punch. I think I could naturally take a punch for a lot of good reasons. But as plus I have a bigger head than, I, than most guys. I think I have a fairly thick skull. I think that helps. I mean, it only stands to reason that if you have a small head, not going to be able to take the same kind of shot not because your bone structure isn't there. If you have a heavy bone structure, it works in your favor. And, I, and, and that's the kind of head I have. And I also have a short neck. And I also worked on my, on my absorbing punch muscles, so my neck and my jaw. So, so that worked to my advantage. And maybe, who knows about nerve endings? Maybe there's other things in there that you don't really know about. But all I know is that I could, that I could uh, take a shot a lot better than most guys, for sure. And, uh, and that helped me. And plus, I was a much better fighter defensively than I was ever given credit for. To be honest with you, if I could pat myself on the back that way, people would say, why are you kidding? You a defensive fighter? Yeah. I got very few punches uh, on the vulnerable parts of my, of my uh, jaw, of my, of my, of my cranium. I, 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 most times when I got hit in the head, which is higher up, uh, I, I wouldn't take many punches uh, on the, more or less the vulnerable parts of, 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 of my cranium, so to speak. So uh, I got hit high on the head most of my shots that I got hit with. I never got hit too many shots around the jaw area, not really. Up higher in my head, around my eyes maybe, or around my forehead, but not down here, not, not this part of my jaw, not, this, not on the jaw, so to speak. And uh, I was lucky that way. And plus also the fact that I blocked a lot more punches than I was ever getting regretted for. Because I, th I think if I got hit with one-tenth of the punches people thought I got hit with, with the, 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 the one-tenth of the punches that I was supposed to be hit with, I'd be, 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 you know, I'd be, I'd be in pretty bad shape. I'd be in pretty bad shape. But fortunately, that didn't happen. And uh, for a fighter, I'm, I'm glad that the, uh, uh, I'm glad that I can be able to, that I'm able to speak and that people can still understand me. And that uh, they think, hey, George, you're not too bad for a fighter. You're okay for a, for a fighter. You can speak okay for a fighter. So, so I'll take that.